Okay, hey everybody, this is Crane with Modern Communications. Today we'll be doing a disassembly of the HTC G1. We're going to break it down all the way to the LCD and the digitizer and then reassemble it. Okay, we've already taken off our back and our battery. We have four screws in the back. One, two, three, four. That are the size T4. And then we have one T6 right there. Taking the liberty of loosening those up already, so we'll go ahead and take these off. Now you want to be very careful as to where you put these screws. They go in very specific places and you cannot interchange them with any other screws. These four are all the same length though, which is nice. Did want to take this opportunity to let you know that we offer this as a mail-in service. If you don't feel comfortable working on this phone, I will tell you it's a pretty complex phone and you are going to need the right tools and feel comfortable working on phones in order to take this part. The last screw right here has the void sticker on it. T6. Go ahead and take that off. And we have all of our screws off or fully loosened and we are ready to pop the back off. If you have any questions, you can always call or text 850-210-2546. You can email crane, C-R-A-N-E dot walker at gmail dot com. Or you can stop by our store in Tallahassee. Go ahead and pry up the sides. I generally use a small metal flat tool. It, uh, it doesn't take much to pop that off. You'll hear them snap as you go. You got a couple latches there, a couple latches on the side, and a couple on the bottom. Sometimes the top ones will get a little stuck, but that's not a big deal. All right, we've got taken the back completely off. Interior of the phone, we have the motherboard down here. We have one, two flux cables that are visible, two underneath, one over here, and then two wire connectors right here. Okay. Generally recommend taking off those wire connectors first. They're just easy. Just lift up with a little bit of pressure. This one right here actually will typically have an orange piece of tape or yellow piece of tape over it. Peel that off, lift up, get it out of your way. Go. Now, first flex cable, lift your hinge right there, slide that flex cable out, there's a very thin one so you want to be careful with it. Next one, just a little bit thicker quality, lift up your tape, peel up, it's going to come right out. Okay. Now, you've got a couple more flex cables, there's two underneath here that connect on the underside, and there's one right here on the edge. Okay. You can go ahead and do the two underneath first to get at those. You've got a little tooth right there that catches it. Lift and pry and it will lift it from the tooth. Go underneath here. A lot of times you need to go in from this side right here. There's going to be a little uh, piece of cloth. You want to do, go ahead and just cut that. Lift up lift up again. Okay. Yeah, now as you do that you need to be careful because your flex cable over here actually runs from here down and then over. To release it, lift up right there and slide out. You can see that it will that it catches right in there. You kind of have to lift up that yellow tape. All right, we have fully removed the motherboard at this point. Be very careful with that. You can use an electrostatic bracelet, but I don't. I haven't killed a phone yet, so. All right, next step, we're going to remove some of the screws on the back. We have two screws right here, and there is one hiding underneath here. We'll get to that in a moment. Screwdriver size, and my toolkit is a PH00. What you want to do with this one, loosen it up, and this part will swing. Just gonna get that screw out of there. There we go. Now we have three on the base. We have one larger flathead right there, another larger flathead right there. 
and then a small one right there in the center. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew those three. One. Those are a little bit longer. Two. And finally, three. Those three on the bottom are what allow you to remove the front assembly. So if you're just trying to replace something on the keypad right here, all you have to do is do those three. You shouldn't have to remove those three right there. That concludes the first part of our video. We'll be back for the second part. We're going to show you how to remove this front part, how to remove the hinge, and get to the LCD.